Good morning. Today is January 7th, 2022. I'm Leah. And I'm Matt. We are your news host for everything sports and Panther news. This episode is a little COVID heavy, but we feel there's information that needs to be brought to your attention due to the severity of the spread of the COVID-19 virus at this time. The Connecticut Department of Public Health recently issued new guidelines for all Connecticut schools. Our superintendent, Dr. Macri, released a letter a few days ago providing more information about the new regulations. These guidelines were made in order to reduce the focus on contact tracing and have schools focus on identifying potential COVID cases early on. These new guidelines mean that our schools will no longer be contact tracing. Another change regarding COVID is a recent change in isolation time. Students with the virus now only need to quarantine for five days and will say continue to show persistent symptoms after that time period. Stay healthy, everyone. With COVID cases continuing to rise in Connecticut, here are a few reminders to ensure everyone's safety. Make sure to stay home if you're sick and continue wearing your mask properly in indoor spaces and social distance when near others. Now for Panther Nation. Our indoor track team has an away meet at the New Haven Athletic Center on Monday, January 10th. Good luck to our athletes. Girls basketball also has an away game against Coggenshaw at 7 p.m. on Monday. For boys basketball on Tuesday, they're hitting the court against Coggenshaw at 7 p.m. And now back to the desk. The Cromwell Lions Club donated boxes of books to Belden Cromwell Public Library. Their purpose was to give books about African American or Latino themes that were also written by African American or Latino authors, available to elementary and middle schoolers at the library. Towns across Connecticut are starting to distribute COVID self-testing kits and N95 masks. Cromwell had their distribution this past Wednesday. They were out of masks and COVID tests within an hour. Lines of cars were turned away empty-handed. Connecticut itself had distributed over 350,000 N95 masks, and state officials are looking to increase the numbers over the next few weeks. Now for a look at the weather. A winter storm named Garrett has been traveling across the country this week, dropping snow and causing travel disruptions. That storm developed in the Rockies and hit the New England area late Thursday night and will stick around through this morning today. Luckily, it is a fast-moving system, so the snow tillers are not too high. Most of New England, including Connecticut, will receive three to six inches of snow. Uh, the northern parts of New England will receive various amounts of snow because it, it is always changing. Uh, now for the three-day weekend weather. Friday starts off with snow winding down in the early morning, with totals between one to three inches across the state. High temperatures reaching only 34, so it will be a cold day into a low of 17 in the evening. Saturday brings sunshine, but even the colder temps with a high of just 32 and a low of 19. Sunday warms up a bit, but brings back the precipitation as rain with a high temperature of 37 into the evening low of 25. If you have outdoor activities this weekend, Saturday will be the best day to get that in. Have a great weekend, and now back to you at the desk. To get away from COVID news, but on a sad note, Betty White was an American actress who knew exactly how to brighten up everyone's days. She starred in The Golden Girls, Hot in Cleveland, The Lorax, and more. She was loved by all, but sadly passed away at 99 years old, peacefully in her sleep. She passed on New Year's Eve, three weeks before her 100th birthday. Have a great day, CHS, and tune in next time for CHS Everything Sports and Panther News. Stay safe out there, CHS.